had to take a moto moto break right there <laughs> because this story has shaken like crazy. Um, by the way, Amani, thank you so much. I'm thoroughly enjoying this conversation. Um, so <laughs> I'm enjoying remembering uh, those things. You are. <laughs> and I'm us, Guys, yeah. so I'm glad to say that CT is like therapy. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> but also, you never get to tell your story. Yes. Everybody else gets to tell it for you. To tell you. your story. Yeah. You get. Mm. So there's something that you said, and I want us to continue from that. Mm-hmm. You said that Lucas never calls you. I mean, if it's not a, sorry, you come and see it. If it's a hit song, Lucas calls you. So did he call you now? Yeah. He called and said, come to the studio. <laughs> if Lucas tells you that, Kimbia, kona hit. Kimbia kwa studio, na ujua mepata hit. Can I <clears throat> nameless say the exact same thing about this song? He said he got a phone call from Lucas, akambiwa, kuja. Kajuna jua, umeiva, na ni hit. My friend. Ah, that's amazing. Say, which joke? Unapata call ya Lucas. Hata kama uko juu ya Dave. Hata kama uko juu ya Dave. Me Audi. This I am to. Don't get my dad. Eh? Mavenge. Ebu kam. Una taki like in studio. So you go. So I listen to it and I remember thinking, is that me? Is that really me? Cuz I'd heard so many previous recordings and I'm like, this is good. And I had this warm feeling in my belly and I'm like, this is good. So you knew. I knew. Let me ask you this question. And this is what's mind blowing me. When you're recording, you mm-hmm. see, um, when when I was a musician and I would be recording, mm-hmm. me if I'm not hearing that piano, I I record to an emotion. Mm. So I find, you see, I I don't record to a metronome. Ta, 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 ta. I can't also record to a metronome. So what? What yeah. Lucas used to do is that he used to lay the bass track. Or oh, the bass track. Like basics, there would yeah. be a metronome uh, a and key. a bit of a kick and maybe a. Just twenty um, percent of the song. Twenty percent of the song, mm. and you just lay down whatever it is that you're laying down. Wow. Well, okay, I get what it, it, yeah. it is. So then it he sounds builds it nothing. up. Like I mean, it, it's it sounds a whole other thing. He'll go flip it, and it will sound like something different. Okay. So when I finally heard this, and I'd not even had Nameless's part, so <laughs> when I was hearing the song, I'm like, whoa, this guy's good. This guy's good. This guy's guy really, really good. And I'm like, and I want the song. So I was so excited, and by then I'd already started telling my friends that you know I'm um, I'm doing music and I go to the studio once in a while. Um, I remember telling my boyfriend I'm like I'm gonna song with Nameless, and he's like, whoa, that's big, you know. <laughs> and yeah, we looked forward to it being released. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ogopa, let's okay, let's first take before we we talk about because this song mm-hmm. when it was released, mm-hmm. it completely changed Ogopa, mm-hmm. completely changed the Kenyan music industry, mm-hmm. like. You cannot talk about urban Kenyan music without mentioning this song yeah. as a turning point. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to figure out at this time before that song, mm-hmm. what's what's what kind of music are you guys hearing out there? I Can you even remember? remember? I think it was a lot of Red Sun. There's a big song by I think Red Sun and Baby Cool. Mm. Yeah. There was a big uh, song by Red Sun and Camilio, no, and Baby Cool. They had done a song together. They had a very big song together. And Camilio also had a big song from Yeah. So from guys Ogopa. know of Ogopa, but mm. when you're telling your friends I'm in Ogopa, it doesn't really, does it, are they like, oh my God, you're in Ogopa? These are girls in USIU. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They're like, Nice girl. <laughs> but babies <laughs> like getting to stand up. <laughs> but um yeah, I mean, but I like to say you for that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 you're in studio, but until you've blown 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 us, they'll be like, "Okay, fine, you know." But also, let's to be honest, this was the sort of place where people were falling in love you guys were creating the sound that urban youth were mm-hmm. going to fall in love with you mm-hmm. get what i mean yeah okay let me stop delaying the question and ask mm-hmm. the song is released mm-hmm. 
A song is released, I have no idea of how big the song is getting. I'm clueless. I think because of getting frustrated of uh -huh. not hearing my song on radio as often, uh -huh. I stopped actively listening to radio. And I just cocooned into this place where I was just trying to write and figure out what my sound is. So my only research on what people are responding to as I was told to research and Playing was in the club mm. when I go out. <clears throat> so now in the club, instead of dancing my heart away and chit chatting every other person <laughs> and being all rowdy. Ukoshule. Yeah, I used to listen and I watch. I listen and I watch. When Baby Kula and Chameleon's song is watched, is played, I listen and I watch. When a certain song is played, I listen and I watch. So I became an active listener and watching. I realized people used to respond so much to dance hall, to reggae. I'm like, okay, fine. When reggae comes on, everybody gets up. When dance hall comes on, everybody gets up. When something that is African-like comes on, they get up. So I started realizing that the sound is somewhere between that. Mm. Yeah. And radio for me, I was like, well... It's okay. And I, I wasn't listening as much. So Nina Noki on the other hand is building up <laughs> on radio as in it's just Nini. And you know then Akukwanga na Facebook na mm. YouTube. So mm. you don't even quite know how the girl behind this looks like. But I realized when I realized the song was really getting big is I was in school and <laughs> this is sound weird. Guys who could never talk to me. <laughs> like, as in, you know, dudes who, they're known as the cute, cool guys in school. Who could never even give you twice of a look. All of a sudden, hi, how are you? And I'm like, did you just say hello? <laughs> so, I, how, then how do people know it's you? Are you beginning to do uh, TV? Because uh, Nina Noki did not have a video. It didn't in fact, have forget video. Nina Noki, very few songs at that time had a video. Yeah, they didn't have videos. But um, I remember we're doing a few of newspaper interviews here and there. Mm. Um, there was, I think, a show on KBC and Metro that used to feature artists. I'd gone for one. I'd also, you know, done some stuff in the newspaper and everything. But I didn't think anybody was really paying attention, you know. Mm. So that's the time I noticed. I was like, you would never say hello to me. <laughs> <laughs> now you said hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and Nina Noki is so big, it's crossing over <clears throat> all ages, all races. Yes. Uptown, downtown, yeah. name it. And Nimla said, uh, he called me and said, we have a show. I'm like, wow, performance. Now, please note, I had not been performing. The only performance I last performed was when I did the Safari com competition. So, what year are we? What year is this, by the way? I think we're around 2000. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm in my sophomore year. I'm in my second year. Mm. And I'm like, why? So I need to get back to performing. Okay. What am I going to wear? What am I going to sound like? I mean, as in, I was so worried about so many things. And throughout that period, um, as I was trying to find my identity in music, um, I had met uh, Miss Karun's mom. Mm. Yes. And um, I told her about what I was doing, and uh, she's a designer. And she said, when you have your con, let me know. I'll get something for you. And 
that first gig that I did, that was like a major gig for me and Nameless, was uh, at Safari Park. It was, I think, the finals for Miss Tourism. Mm. And uh, I wore something that was designed by Miss Karun's mom. Yo, that's yeah. big. Yeah. That's big. Yeah. And I have a question. Mm -hmm. was, the Ted, was the Big Ted move pulled again? Did you, were you no, paid? I was paid. So, okay, is this the first time you've been paid for a gig? First, no, it wasn't the first time I've been paid for a gig. Um, prior to that, I was still looking for gigs, you know, because mm. I, I, I needed some cash for recordings and stuff like that. And uh, before that, Liki, again, Liki Odera of mm. Shilton, I'd, I knew Liki from before, and he had called me for a gig at Pan Africa. like, I have a gig for you. And... I was like, I didn't want to tell him. Then I wasn't as bold as I am these days, I think. Mm. <laughs> My introverted side had taken over everything. So I just went with faith. And I remember when it was, it was on Valentine's Day. Mm. And um, yeah, I went for the gig and I just hoped he'd pay me. But Licky paid me. Nice. Yeah. So um, now this, and I'll go for your, your name is starting. So mm -hmm. Nina Noki, I still want to stick to this song because <laughs> it's exploding. Yes. You get, I mean, you sang the chorus, mm -hmm. but it's as much yours. Me, me, no, it's, yeah. it, like you get it. Yeah. It's, I didn't know it was a big song. So like I said, I'd stopped listening to radio because uh -huh. I had gotten tired of waiting to hear my song on radio. So I get on stage. I think Nameless knew the song was big and it was during Miss Tourism. And he said, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go in and then I'm going to do this and then you come in here and I'm like okay I, I got you and it was the first performance after a while and um, I remember getting onto stage and I started singing Aya, and the whole crowd started singing along I had never heard anything like that oh, yeah. and I'm like what is going on here? I got confused. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nameless is taking two steps. He's figured one end of the stage. He takes another two steps. He's reached the other end of the stage. He does a semicircle. He's already gone around the stage. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? And why are they singing that? As in, I was confused. Mm. <clears throat> but I quickly caught up to it. And I remember before that gig, um, Francis asked me, he thinks, you think you can manage? Like going on stage with Nameless and everything. I'm like, yeah, I think I can. And they both looked at me like, <laughs> <laughs> enjoy yourself. You do not know this guy on stage. And whoa, Nameless on stage is something else. Like he goes in, he mm. grabs the crowd and mm. he, takes, he takes the crowd with him. Yeah. So was that the day you said, okay, this song is big? Yes. Because I wasn't really singing the chorus. Mm. They were singing it. <laughs> 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 and the I, 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 who came up with that? Um, he did. Th this guy is good. Yeah. You literally sang the chorus. I sang the chorus. He's good. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if you can your props up on today. props. But your props. Yeah. Okay. So what now? What does this begin to do to you? Because. Yeah. Were you enjoying the fame? Why, um, you, by then now, are you, are you I like, think it what's hits happening? me. It hits me like, whoa, this song is big. Um, finally, I think not even that this song is big. Finally, there's a song that I'm singing that people like. So um, yeah, it really now started establishing the direction that my writing will go mm. as I continue to listen. And performance why it was heavy. It was heavy. Performance. Yes, we performed. I mean, I was in campus and once Thursday, my life changed after that in terms of me being a campus student and everything. Mm. I had to to forego some things. You know, before then it was, ah, after noon, you free, you in the studio, mm. you chill, you know. Other days it's to it's rural, let's go to, I don't know where, and I don't know do what, you know. I was a typical campus student. Mm. But after that, all that changed. Um, <clears throat> The song got so big, we're literally doing gigs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, resting Sunday. Like Wednesday, and <laughs> some time point got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I always knew like from Wednesday, my 
my evenings are taken and everything and i still had to keep up with school by the way and now do your parents know ah oh, no they in the know <laughs> as in they have, they have, they have, they have just, daughter is on this nina noki they thing. have left me my mom has left me to god my dad is like okay we tried <laughs> we really tried <laughs> But well, okay, fine. But you also are you <clears throat> getting paid? Yeah. So every gig you are living gig. with something. Yes. Yo, that is some good money for a second year campus student. Thank you. I was in my <laughs> sophomore year, so I came from literally saving my pocket money for lunch mm. to having more than enough. I could pick something on the menu. <laughs> Before many request it, ne? Chipo na sausage. Na hata sausage sometimes kuna vile uliko naona haya hapa. Yoni luxury. Size ni zile za what are we serving today? Steak. Okay, I'll have that. <laughs> yeah. But are you feeling I mean so this song goes and becomes a monster. It becomes is, big. But are you I... then feeling oh my god, I need my jam. <clears throat> Ogopo no one now comes out by the way i'm being a pure artist yeah ogopa one has already come out okay, and everything this song was on ogopa one as yes well. and um people are you know the performances are back to back you know the wave the ogopa wave now has started and people are listening to the sound they are asking for performances it's campuses day in day out you know nameless song was so huge i mean he got into the corporate thing like very quickly Ooh. so corporate gigs wednesday thursday club campuses I mean it was like literally Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. God, Sunday you rest. Monday Back. by 9 a.m. I'm in class. I'm thinking <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, nitaweza, but at that point in time I'm like I'm not going to quit this. Mm. Quitting school was never an option for me. Did you finish school? Yes. I have to. There is no option of not finishing school in the name of partying now. Nah. nah. But at that time, okay. I'm going to ask this from a naive person who may be watching mm-hmm. this who mm-hmm. who may be in that situation where mm. this thing that they want to pursue with their whole life is beginning to pay is beginning to <clears throat> make more sense than being in school it did. short term yes mm. it did i mean i i used to get paid you go to school to work to get money but you're yeah, making money now but i was getting i was getting paid i was getting paid but i didn't realize like what i was getting paid the the was was that good Mm. You get. I was getting it four <laughs> times a week. I mean, if my parents even knew. Okay, okay, okay. How much cash I spent on that house? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I love my parents. My friends are they're yeah. good peeps. So, um, but I did participate in house stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. As, as I'm a fast one, so you can't run away from that. And I, of course, I did that to keep them. <laughs> yeah, so I this music thing. Nah, 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 <laughs> not too bad. Isn't it? <laughs> so, um it it was paying well. Um Nameless was always very honest. We mm. tell you this is what's happening. I'm going to give you this and everything. It's quite honest. That's, that's everything. really cool. Very very honest. So, of course kuna gigs to Ligongwa. Mm. Kama kuna moja tulienda Kisi. Ni chome. Choma. Kuna mtu anataka kuchoma. But you're a good person. But ni tachoma. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> So go by you're a good person but it's a trauma. <clears throat> so we go to Kisi. Show is chic. Let me tell you Kisi was something else. Like there was a stage initially but at the end of the show we were like he was here I was here. It was packed crowd was crazy. And yeah, um you know going to Kisi was nice swell everything things were arranged. Can you kutoka Kisi? Kuna jam moja alikula fea yetu ya kurudi Nairobi. What? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> That is a good person. You, you have to use your own money. Nani choma. Sema. Nisha kusamela kile nitachoma Zahir Jandre. Alikula fea yetu kurudi Nairobi. So yeah. So at this mm-hmm. okay, from a business perspective you guys are beginning to learn a lot about the industry uh, we're beginning to learn a lot and like i said Nemesis, do you have a manager who is francis taking care how are the shows coming are they coming to um, nameless the, directly the shows are coming through nameless so i didn't i was oblivious of all that but i was learning you know because he used to talk about it he's mm. like this guys you could tell you he's like this guys eh? 
you don't leave for a show until the deposit comes. So until this guy calls me and gives me a deposit, stay put. I'll mm. confirm later. So you see, I'm learning. Okay, I I'm get learning. It. So sometimes I could go like he'd be like, "Oh, we need to do one, two, three and I could meet him, and he has the contract, and could be like, "This guy has missed out this year. I think he should put this. So let me know this." So I was watching and learning. Mm. So I knew Lazma of any contract, it has to have this, it has to have that. He has to send the deposit, he has to confirm transport, he has to confirm this. So I was learning. And and also we're talking about now you beginning <clears throat> to do gigs outside Nairobi. Hey, gigs mean is like outside Nairobi. So you guys became national artists. Yeah. Um at this time at any time during this Nanoki period did you leave the country to go um, to TZ first or UG? The first place you went to was Uganda. As you were nameless. Yeah. So then there was Uganda. Uganda became heavy. TZ came One in. song, Ninanoki. Yeah. That's what good days, man. <laughs> <laughs> go mamoja. One. <laughs> Nimezunguka Kenya. One. So that was Ninanoki. And um, I didn't realize that I got to experience a lot covered. You know, mm. Nameless Dan was handling the promoters. Nameless was, was, was a big brother. Yeah, he was like, he was handling the promoters, big brothers and everything. You know, me, I was not getting exposed to the promoters. Me, I was shielded. I was that kagal that was singing the chorus. Are you signed and go at this time? At this point in time, I'm not signed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then 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 what is it? Every time you're recording, you have to pay or there's just a... We, you can, there's some unspoken rule that we're for. together. You know, I mean, Lucas could tell you you know, you're paying for this one. So okay, okay. the one for Tahidi, I didn't pay because it was on a go power. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so after that, I think I paid for a few and there's some which we understood that we are working towards a sound. Okay. Okay. You know, and of course I wanted to get to a point whereby, you know, we would work on an album. Mm. So I continued working. But and after Nina Noki eh? and you were at home there. No. I moved out. What do you mean? Oh, sorry, no, at home at the studio. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, 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 fine, yeah. fine, fine. Okay. But even at that time, at my when I was in my sophomore year, because I was gigging so much, and there was no way I could gig and go all the way Thank to Sika, I moved out, mm -hmm. and um, I could have afforded, like, a nice a studio place to stay, but I stayed at YWCA because my friends were there. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's cool. And your business business wise as well, it was even cheaper <laughs> on the pocket. It was cheaper. It was very close to town. So, Kinyambia Kuda, yep. I used to land. Um, for, um, last question about this whole um, Nianoki face, yes, Nianoki, yeah. because it's, it's big. Mm. Uh, did it hit you that oh my god, yeah, we have gotten to that? Nime arrive, nime fika. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, <laughs> you know. I it hit me like wow, this is a big song. I'm finally getting to experience what I've always wanted to experience, yeah. Mm. But Lucas was always there to remind you. That what? Where is your song? 